Thank you very much for the invitation to speak at the AI Expo Africa conference. My name is Lynn Morris, and I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research and Innovation at Wits University in Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm a virologist and a vaccinologist, and we've all witnessed the critical role that data has played in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. The epidemiological tracking of global cases through the Johns Hopkins and Our World in Data websites, as well as the GISAID and NextStrain viral sequences repositories, have helped us to develop effective public health measures, including vaccines. But it's also heralded a new era of transparency and a public engagement with science and data. There's no doubt that Africa faces a number of challenges where AI could play a major role. As a continent, we are lagging behind in achieving the targets of the Sustainable Development Goals. We need innovative solutions to deal with these local and continental challenges. Research-intensive universities, such as WITS, are incubators of new knowledge and solutions. And we have a responsibility to ensure that we provide a fertile environment for research and innovation, as well as training in AI and data science. Africa currently produces a fraction of research publications. However, this is changing and research in Africa is rising rapidly. Over the five year period between 2012 and 2016, research output from African countries grew by 38.6%. Over the same period, the number of African authors of scientific articles grew by 43%. As far as impact is concerned, which is the measure by field weighted citation impact, which normalizes differences in citation activity by subject field, article type, and publication year, the countries of Mozambique, Rwanda, and Zambia achieved more than double the world average citation impact. African scientists and policymakers need to capitalize on these successes. Many of them gathered in 2018 at the third African Forum for Science, Technology and Innovation in Cairo, organized by the African Development Bank and the Egyptian government. There, they urged representatives from countries across the continent to invest more in research, higher education and science, to build a knowledge economy and not to miss the train of the new fourth industrial revolution. WITS is working hard on many fronts to build and grow Africa's research output. In March 2015, we were a co-founder of ARUA, which is the African Research Universities Alliance, which brought together all of the continent's top research universities. ARUA recognizes the fact that partnerships and networking have become essential arrangements for universities throughout the world to leverage their resources for greater impact. Arua aims to develop local research excellence through collaboration to find solutions to the development problems of Africa. It is set to become a pan-African network for bringing research and academic excellence to the fore throughout the region by developing strong and viable research universities. We are now in the age of data-driven science. This follows from the earlier paradigms of empirical or experimental science, the theoretical or physical science, and the era of computational science. Research in many fields is increasingly focused on using artificial intelligence, statistical learning, data mining, pattern recognition, and anomaly detection. Data is the new gold, and one could speak at length about how this paradigm shift to AI is impacting science in many different fields. So just a few specific uh, examples. In material science, AI methods are being used to accelerate the design, discovery, and evaluation of new materials. In environmental science, AI methods will make it possible to accelerate development of advanced tools and the next generation of technology for assimilating observations and data-driven forecasting. In biology and life sciences, AI technologies hold the promise to enable the systematic discovery of the manifestations of molecular interactions and processes on higher levels of physiological organization. In experimental sciences, autonomous laboratories 
and the use of AI in designing and steering experiments is becoming feasible. In large instruments like the Large Halon Collider, the introduction of machine learning and AI into the scientific process for hypothesis generation and the design of experiments promises to significantly accelerate the scientific process by automating and accelerating the development of models and the testing of hypotheses. With this change in paradigm to data-driven science in mind, WITS launched a major digital innovation hub called Shemolochong Precinct in Bramfontein, in the center of Johannesburg. It trains and promotes entrepreneurs in the digital space, including machine learning, big data, and artificial intelligence. WITS also hosts one of 12 IBM Global Research Labs that provides quantum computing, machine learning, and AI research opportunities. WITS is also working with the Cirrus Initiative to set up a consortium called the AI Africa Consortium to support collaboration and sharing of knowledge and resources between African universities through Arua and other partners. Professor Barry Twilatsky, who is the founder of Shemolochong and is currently the Director of Innovation Strategy at WITS, will tell you more about the AI Africa Consortium and how it will work. Thank you, Lynn. So um, my task is to really talk about this consortium that we're setting up, and it's being set up with Cirrus. So firstly, let me say, what is the Cirrus Initiative? Firstly, it is aiming to fund the first AI supercomputer hub on the African continent. And we're proud to say that this hub will, will be located on the WITS campus. The company, it's a company, Cirrus, and it's already established partnerships and relationships with uh, universities throughout the world and with some major companies in the AI space. It will uh, support the, the consortium that I'm going to speak about in a minute, which as well is being established with um, Cirrus at WITS. So let me tell you about this consortium. We're calling it the AI Africa Consortium. And it's a collaboration between WITS and Cirrus. We are going to create this consortium to pull together research institutions and universities in Africa and beyond. Our major aim is to develop a collaborative network that's focused on the science of AI and applications of AI in science. We will uh, develop human capital, and we mean by that AI skills. And this will be done through student participation and training. The, the consortium will also develop and share knowledge. It will promote research collaboration. And importantly, it will also promote entrepreneurship and innovation through something we're calling the Cirrus Foundry. So who can join this consortium? The first thing to say, it's open to any university or government agency or any non-profit research institution from Africa and beyond. The big question everyone usually asks is what will it cost to join? And the good news is there will be no membership fee. People are free to join and to uh, then participate in the benefits that I'm gonna list in a minute. Um, how will it work? will uh, firstly ask you to sign up, and then each member will appoint what we're calling an ambassador. And these ambassadors will participate in an ambassador advisory network. This ambassador network will be responsible for building the network and for negotiating benefits on behalf of the members of the consortium. So let's look for a minute at these benefits. The first benefit will be global collaboration. So through the consortium and through the uh, link that we've got to um, Cirrus, we'll link into a global AI network. We'll also co-develop programs of research and learning. We'll run annual winter and summer school programs, which will be where we build the skills. There'll be many talks, we call in them tea time programs and salons, and that'll share information both um, across Africa from the members of the consortium and internationally. 
there'll be something that we're calling a digital asset locker, where people will get ample storage capacity to store data to use in machine learning and, and activities in AI. There'll be a sandbox where people can try out in a kind of low cost and low touch way their concepts and ideas. And then there'll be the very powerful supercomputing platform housed at WITS, but available for free to all members of the consortium. There'll be research support, and there'll be the right to host events at consortium forums. Consortium members will also be part of all proposals and contracts that we try to set up. So they'll be able to choose which of those things they wish to join and can then um, take part in continent-wide bids for research grants and funding in the fields of AI. The big question is, how do you, do you link into this? And we've created a special website that you can go to. It's www.aia.org.za. So that's where you can find out more, and that's how you can join us. So let me hand back to Lynn, who will just tie up this presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. And just a few closing comments. So um, in support of our commitment to strengthen research in Africa, this invites partners from Arua universities and others to join the AI Africa Consortium. WITS has growing strengths in the areas of data science, AI and machine learning. We have Africa's largest grouping of researchers and postgraduate students working these disciplines. Professor Benji Rosman from WITS Computer Science was the co-founder of the Deep Learning in Daba, one of the largest support communities for AI scientists in Africa. Through the consortium and other engagements, we invite you to work with WITS to grow Africa's footprint on the global research output map. Please visit the WITS booth at this expo where Shamala Hong and WITS researchers such as Professor Bruce Milado, will be demonstrating their activities and discussing AI initiatives. Thank you very much. <laughs>